to sit right down. Good job. Very nice. Now, this is where you have to really kind of get soft with your upper leg and seat, but then move him up off your leg to let him start to have to move your seat in a little more deliberate, longer, longer stride from up behind. From up from behind. Yeah, there. And you'll feel him kind of start to change and get into that groove as he has to move you. He starts to take a little deeper step and he has to stay, you know, kind of soft with his face. So here you can come back with your elbows a little bit and wiggle them off your fingers and keep doing the same thing with your seat and leg. And just, you'll see it pull kind of round over a little bit more. And that's kind of what, visually what you'll kind of look for is you'll kind of get him just to round over his pole a little bit more. <coughs> Good, there, good, right there. Keep moving, your, using your seat and lower, and lower leg, good. And just keep asking for that. If you see his pull pop up a little bit, you'll just kind of, there, good. And he'll start to get that back rounded up a little bit more. There you go. But he really kind of, if you kind of stiffen your seat up, he kind of tend to get real short, yeah. you know. Good, there you go. And just keep wiggling him off your fingers with that feel right there. You kind of see him get a little bracy and kind of pull on your arm. There we go. That's getting better. Good. And so when you rush into your canner, we'll just circle left here for your first round or two. But he's going to kind of, I mean, he might push back against your leg. Just set him up. Don't let him trot out through your hands. But just make sure his hip comes in and then just kind of, you don't have to send him real hard. Just let him know it's coming. Create your barrier. Good. Go. You had it. Yeah. Once he started to take off, you just follow through with your seat and keep your seat moving. Yep. And you kind of have to, with him, you want to just stay using your seat. Okay. Yeah, he, he kind of reads that, either that momentum or lack of it, and tends to want to, you know. Soft. Good go. Good, good. job. Now keep using it. There you go. Yeah, yeah. good job. And then if you kind of see his head get up, just tap him a little bit right there and kiss again. Outside leg, good. So every time you kind of feel his rhythm start to falter a little bit, just outside leg. Use your seat a little bit. There you go, good. Same time. You won't necessarily have to hold your leg on him. Just use it when you feel him. Good. Good job. There you go, just push it out the leg. If, he's, if you push and he still doesn't take the canter, just tap him up both legs strong and just use your seat rhythm. There you go. Good. And once you feel like it, then you can just peel off and go all the way around. Looks good there. Good. If he starts to go left, just right rein, right rein. Yep. There you go. Keep using your seat. Good job. Good. Very good. Sit. Very nice. Good job. See, I mean, he's, you know, you, do, you have to know a couple little things, but other than that, he's a pretty easy horse to ride, you know. It's fun to see someone else riding him, too. And then, and yeah, and you, I mean, he, he's kind of, you know, he's a little duller sided than I'd like him to be at times. So, you know, if I, if I have to, I mean, I'll boot him, you know, pretty good. And that's really sharpened him up a lot more because he could be a little like, you know, maybe that. But I'll tell you what, this horse has really gotten, I mean, so much, so much better and so much more stylish in the last, you know, I mean, starting about. September, he really started coming on to where I was really starting to like, even though I didn't have the motion quite, quite where I wanted it yet. Let's uh, go ahead and just shorten your right draw just a hair. There we go, good. And his canter to the left is, is where he can get, you know, sometimes he can get a little stiff with that rib cage and, and all that, but you'll, you'll kind of feel him maybe bump his butt a little bit on you or whatever. Just stay seated. Don't get ahead of him with your... With your seat, just read and follow that departure and just use your seat as he, if he pushes your, his hip back into your leg, just reset him up, make him move his hip in off your leg, there you go. And then there you go, when you start to feel him get a little stiff, 
This is where I kind of like to tap his right rib cage and wiggle my right rein and keep using your seat. Maybe move your left outside leg back a little bit as you do that and just kind of soften up that right side. He's a little stiff on that right side today. There you go. Good. Yeah. And just kind of get him to where he'll just kind of come off that right, right hand a little bit, lower his head just a hair. And then just come back when you, when you straighten him back out, just come back with your with your elbows right where you have them, right? That height with your hands and everything. We could probably shorten up both, or your right draw again a little bit more. There we go, good, there we go, good. There, and that's rounding his pole a little bit. And we just shorten both draws just a hair more. There you go, good. Yeah. Good, there we go. Very nice, okay, good. Now as he comes down the straightaway, you just kind of have, move your left leg back just a hair. There, good. and then just don't push on him, just kind of, there you go. Sometimes what he'll try to do is he'll kind of cheat and lean to the right on that right rein a little bit. And I sometimes might have to just pick up that right rein just slightly because he tries to go right instead of go straight. And then I just move that outside leg back. Good. And just keep him cantering. Good job. That riding's gotten a lot better. Yeah. <laughs> this looks good. Good, Marianne. sit right yes yeah. so he kind of comes down just sit right down on him and he'll read that seat and just come right to the walk let's go ahead and sh shorten up your draws a little bit more here and we'll just do a little trot into the left or to the right this way same way and just come back right with your elbows yep yeah. lower your hands just a little bit and push him up off your leg and then find that sweet spot that you kind of felt the other direction push him right on up until you feel him give you a better, good, a better, distinct, a little stronger rhythm. There you go. Go ahead and feel that connection. Good. Good, there we go. And just kind of come back with your elbows a little bit. Wiggle them off, but keep asking him to go forward because he'll, there, because he, we want him to keep moving up to his face as you take a hold and wiggle him off. There you go. That's going to start to get a little more motion up front. Good, then go ahead and just go ahead and go straight. No faster than that. Good. Yeah, he's so spooky. It doesn't seem to phase him. Did that look pretty? He was coming out of there. he has I'd like to see him hinge it a yeah. good job that's one thing doll even just petting her man her neck just folds right out <laughs> yeah. 
pretty dark bay horse. <laughs>